Hi, good afternoon, and uh, uh, I'm very happy to be here uh, from uh, uh, Things Industry. Thank you. Uh, today, I re really like to uh, describe uh, some uh, use cases uh, in LoRa in Japan. So, unfortunately, uh, Japan is uh, still on our way to deploy uh, LoRa expansion. However, so we are on our way, and we are fighting for a long, long time since the LoRa has been uh, explored. So, today I would like to uh, share most of the information and uh, also uh, what we have done it in Japan. So, two companies are here today, and the Abit Corporation as a device company, and M2B Communications as a service company. M2B Communication is the one of the member of the LoRa Alliance and the contribute, first contributor in Japan, and we are paying a lot of attention to describing, uh, developing a protocols in Japan and Asia. So our CTO been paid more attention to uh, developing those protocols. So also we are a member of the things industry, and we are very happy to be here. So first, oh, oh sorry. We are the wireless. Everyone says this kind of things. Wireless company and low power and secure network and secure connections. This is our base technology, what we have done on for th more than 40 years. So today I wish to describe about the disaster reduction, the use case of the disaster reduction. But uh, unfortunately, I cannot reduce the, the disaster itself because a natural disaster is so strong for human being. And also, as you know, Japan is the kind of supermarket of disasters. <laughs> and um, also, yeah, we have been overcome a very serious the uh, disasters for a long time. It's a, the earthquake and typhoon, and earthquake make, made uh, lots of very heavy tsunami, wipes out every variable things and every, every human lives. Okay, so I am uh, really interesting and a big, um, how do I say, motivation to reducing the kind of the impacts from uh, very strong disasters and uh, saving your life, saving your uh, variable things. But um, the, how technology works on this? This is my big question for my lifetime. <clears throat> so I used to be an engineer. But today, I'd like to describe a little bit, a little bit about the business issue. Because the LoRa ran, how, LoRa ran how it's produced the business itself also. Oh, this is, I wish to uh, introduce my city. This is the one of the biggest city in the metropolitan Tokyo. And the size is around 80% of um, Amsterdam. And the population is approximately 570,000 population. This is also the 80% of Amsterdam. It's a big. And we have um, metropolitan like um, uh, buildings and many things, and mountains and a lot of things, a lot of rivers, these things. And also, this is very good testing area, evaluation for wireless. Uh, issues. So um, we can evaluate the wireless connections indoor and outdoor rural areas and also building areas. So we have uh, fortunately 23 universities in the entire city and we have a uh, very many young peoples. I hope they are very he helping for our project also in the future. <clears throat> so we have installed 20 gateways, entire city, 
and how it's work. Uh, we have testing how it's work, how to um, uh, the wireless connection is made in a very good quality. So we have been doing this is three years already, and this is all POC. POC. As I am an investor of these companies, and. Oh, so, so long investment that have been made and how the revenue came from. But I was still doing 20 base stations are installed and how it's monitored. We monitor very small the river. And we have installed 45 water gauges, water level meters in a small river. Because the small river goes into the merge to the big one. So we can, my uh, expectation is that um, we can um, predict some sort of um, future happening. So because of if I monitor small river, small river goes into the marge to the big one. So we can buy many 30 minutes, 40 minutes of time to the big events came. So um, uh, this is my idea. This was my, our idea to do this in the POC for a long time. So the POC was successfully done, and uh, but the, also we had a two seasons test, and a big typhoon came out here, and it made a lot of um, water flood in the city. This is just like um, uh, the visual image, and, but this is like a professional image. But of course, we are sending an email to the uh, kind of attendances from, from the city government. And, and they are alarmed to the uh, citizens and the people is living in uh, close to the uh, uh, rivers. So this is the uh, came from. This was developing developed by ourselves, and also I hope that the uh, we were using also the our own uh, network server in a cloud. But the big disaster, as you know, the uh, uh, the power cut off and the communication cut off uh, easily happens so that we are actually developing a new uh, system. This is a local to local LoRa connection as a mesh, the gateway, gateway connection. And also we put the uh, new um, developed, newly developed the uh, network servers in the very simple uh, visual image um, processors in the inside. So uh, this is easy to uh, alarm to the uh, some uh, person uh, connecting to the uh, one of the gateway, and a gateway connect to the each other. So uh, uh, we can uh, operate this uh, the network without any communication backhole communications or power. So. Also, we made three years POC for this, and uh, successfully, uh, the our government was selected a company to do more. Uh, the level water level meter being installed entire the Japan. Japan. So, we are expecting. Uh, the government is expecting around 9,900, I'm sorry, this is not 10,000, 9,900 sensors must be installed within three years. This was a big project we have got, but unfortunately, this is a government issue. So I hope we can get maybe 30% of this. I, this is the nat naturally happens in uh, government investment. Okay, this sensor was starting uh, install from uh, the end of the last year. So we have already shipped 500 sensors. Maybe you can see this is the middle side, just the right side. This is uh, just the uh, Tokyo area. So this is just 
but step by step, this is increasing the number of installation. Also, we have, um, this is a stake or pile or something like this for the landslip sensor. So including, I, this, was, this one includes the small sensors I have, so um, I can show you if you li really like it. And this is also very uh, big event happens, and also once this, the, the ground slips and this push out the old house or people, this is very, very dangerous. So we are going to sense the shock or the 3D sensing inside and the, op the, the report to the uh, cloud system every moment. So we can have a, uh, the information prior to um, the events happen. So also the flood in a tunnel, flood in the parking space in a uh, the basement. This is also very big damage. I lost two cars in Taipei. So also, this is a pond, very small pond everywhere in Japan because for the aggregate, aggregate, agriculture, uh, the water source. And last year, we have about 200,000 pond in an entire Japan. And the two, last year, we had a 20,000 pond are flood. And then this is also a very big uh, event for disaster. And these are sensing the uh, pile, or I mean the stake, and the flood sensor. Is in, in, in the middle is the uh, common sensor we have developed. OK, this is a business issue. The Ministry of Infrastructure, they are uh, going to invest $250 million this year for river issue. And the Ministry of Agriculture spends $1.3 billion this year, only one year. <laughs> it's a big number. But unfortunately, or fortunately, I'm not sure, the old uh, disaster issue, the uh, investment came from government, not the commercial. So we are waiting, we are pushing a government, so on. But also, those are mostly for engineering work for construction. Maybe sensors, these kind of things, maybe 5%, or maybe so, uh, maybe less than 10% anyway. But it's a good number of a business. So we are hoping that the RPOC will work to get the more investment from the government and also save the people's life and values. And also, uh, the R systems has been deployed to the uh, uh, Dublin City Island last summer. And we are working together right now. And also, many of um, uh, cities in, in globally, they're asking us to deploy the, or test the uh, sensors and the network because of uh, Japanese uh, sensors uh, operated as a very heavily happened events from disaster. Okay, so one more thing. I have four minutes. <laughs> one more success story I have to describe today. This is not really a, dis a disaster. We are making the gas sensor, a gas communication module. This is left, left side hand, this is the uh, gas meter. And the right hand side, right hand side this is the uh, LoRa uh, box, LoRa one communication box. And this has been tested for two years for POC. And POC, two years POC, 500 pieces POC, it's a big number, and successfully done. And because of we have tested the how it works and how the reliable to make a connection and how secure this connection. And this is not really LoRa 1, is we have made enhancement a little bit to made it, make it 
secure and uh, firmware update remotely, FOTA function has been installed. I should learn from a microchip, or I should learn from ARM. But at that time, two years ago, it was nothing. So I made it. So it has been tested 500 units in two years, and successfully we, can, we received. And at this year in installation, we are planned to have a 200,000. It's a big number. And uh, we have two gas systems. As one is liquid propane, it's like a gas tank, and a city gas. This is used for the liquid propane, and the 20, 27 million meters are existing in Japan. So we are expecting to have, I hope that the 30%, but uh, this is a big number. The city gas, fortunately, we have received, we have um, uh, installed about one million units since this last uh, three years. Uh, but this is uh, done by the uh, cellular network. But the doors are operated. It's, this one is a small, in, in, inside is a small three cell batteries, works for three, uh, 10 years without changing battery. And then disaster units, which is, which is uh, five years. Yet this is because of um, our, we are the engineering company, so that we have to make the product work for that, uh, this, this decided, how do I say, the lifetime in a very secure uh, and reliable. So we define the uh, specification on five years and then 10 years. Okay, these are the, some success, success story for LoRa. So we wish to deploy more LoRa, and also we wish to work with the things in the industry as uh, on-premises, the uh, servers, because uh, we are doing a very critical, mission-critical pro, uh, project. So we need the on-premises. So that is need from uh, the help from um, in things industry. Okay, so you can uh, uh, keep free to touch me and every moment, and I would like, I'm very happy to share my information as you wish. And I'm here for entire the conference, so just find me, and if you like to talk to me, and I'm very happy to be with you. Thank you very much. Takuyo Hiyama. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Nice. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.